All right, so welcome back to video two of the bootcamp, and we will do psychology first. All right, so there are a few things that we really need to get out of the way where psychology is concerned. Um, there is this cliche that says trading is 10% technical and the rest of it is um in the mind. <laughs> Um, I used to ignore that a lot. I used to ignore that a whole lot. Like, I didn't have any regard for that one cliche kind of thing. But over the years, I have come to realize that that trading is so true. Um, this may be one of the scariest things that you guys may ever hear, but I, I believe in order to get some form of structure into your trading, into your life, in order to become consistent, whether it's consistently break even, consistent or profitable, um, you do you do need some form of structure, some form of structure in your life. And when I say structure, it means that you have to be a completely different person than you are going into learning to trade and actually trading than you were before you started. With that said, let me just say that not everybody is cut out to be a trader. Um, Guys, I, I kid you not when I say to you that you making a living is not hinged on being a good trader. You, you can do just about anything. I, I have a friend who he currently works at, Um, you can say, a call center, customer care call center. And he he actually works for Amazon at the call center, and he has a an Amazon business on Amazon. I think they call it FB or something like that. And that business actually generates. He he sells water, bottled water on Amazon, bottled water. That's all he sells on Amazon, and. Uh, he's very successful just selling water i want you guys to understand this not everybody is meant to be a trader some persons are meant to do something different but i want you to know that anything at all that you put enough effort time and energy into you can make it it does not have to be trading that's the first thing um how do you know if you're suited for trading? I, I, I am not qualified to tell anybody whether or not they're qualified. I think that is something that's going to be very personal. And it is something that persons have to soul search. Now, with that said, I'll see that we're on the note of personal. One of the things that everybody has to accept in trading is that for trading is a very, very, very personal venture. What works for you may not necessarily be what works for the other person. They have a saying that says what's good for the goose may not be good for the gander. Until you accept how personal trading is, you may get swayed, you may get persuaded, you may get confused along the way because I, I can tell you that I have realized in the industry that persons need that need to be able to filter stuff. You, you need to be able to filter, 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 filter. I have persons, I know persons on Twitter who are posting wins after wins after wins after wins and those persons are in my DMs. Um, likewise, I know persons who they may have some form of course or something and they are not what they say they are in their videos. Um, everybody's just trying to create an image and I can say that everybody has a story. Everybody has something to say. Everybody always has an opinion. That's one of the things that social media has really brought to prominence. The, the ability for every single solitary soul to have an opinion. And I can tell that in the trading space, most opinions are not necessary to your particular trading or to how you trade. You have to accept that it is personal. I remember this one time when uh, in my first, maybe second year in trading, I was trading GBP USD. Uh, my trading partner was trading GBP USD. And there was one particular morning when he was in 
buys. I think I was in sales. We were in in both of us were in position at the same time, and both of us got TP. The exact uh, on the exact same day, both of us TPs got met, and that was the day I realized that okay, he it I don't necessarily have to do what the other person does, and that's the person who I learned to trade with. All right, so just accept. That personal is tra trading is personal. It is something that you have to do for yourself and nobody else. Let's discuss time management practices. All right. So one of the things that I notice is, it notice is that um, most persons who are struggling, I noticed this one common thing. They don't make time for trading. And I don't think it is that they don't make time for trading. I think they don't have their time management structure properly. For instance, there's a particular guy who he'll ask me for help, and I'll say, "Okay, you got the help. You can join some of my some of the calls that I do with the team, some live calls, yada yada." Um, I'll send them as the Zoom link every morning for let's say a particular week, and he will reply on Thursday. Oh, hey, bro. Um, I did not get time to join the the call because. I have a child and I have to go to work to ensure that my child is fed. And mm -hmm. that's the kind of thing that, and in the back of his mind, he might think that it affects me in some way, shape or form that he didn't join. When really and truly, I, I, I can honestly say I pity him. I don't think pity is the word that I really want to use. Um, it doesn't affect me that he doesn't come on on the live calls because we go on live calls, we do our thing. Um, it does weigh on my mind though that persons can have an opportunity and take the opportunity for granted so much so that they will make an excuse for some for like something as simple as a zoom call hey you can't join the zoom you message me today hey is the zoom recorded um i remember when i just started trading i had sleepless nights um i was up trading london every night with him for four or three um my wife's bed was empty a lot she used to come in the room and say hey are you coming to bed but hey i made no excuses i did it i did what needed to be done i did what needed to be done i'd go out and work all day come home and basically just head to the charts. I'm not saying this is healthy, but it's a part of the journey. You have to make time for your trading. You can't just leave it to chance and say, okay, I have some time now. Let me go hit the charts. Okay. Um, let me go watch a video now. Um, I can tell the secret to this is not watching videos. It, it, it's from showing up every day and executing. No excuses. No fucking excuses. No excuses. Um, as human beings, we, we are very complex. We are very, very, very complex in nature, but you have to show up. You have to show up every single day. You have to show up. If you can't show up every single day, you have to show up as much as possible. You are not doing this for me or anybody else. You're doing this for yourself. You, you alone can determine your why, why you're doing this. And you are the only person who can structure your time around trading. Um, in later videos, I will tell, like, give an, a sort of idea how you can actually structure your time for persons who actually work. Because I don't, don't, I don't want you to believe that I don't understand that, hey, persons have to work, persons have to this, persons have families, persons have to. I understand. But the markets are not going to wait for you until all of that is resolved. Um, one thing I can tell you is that life comes at you fast. Shit is go or shit is always gonna be there. Shit is always gonna happen. But you are the person who have had or has to make the time for this. You have to structure it out. Structure out what it's going to be. Okay, I have to work in the mornings. Let me trade each session. Okay, I have to work at nights. Let me go home get four hours rest. There has to be some form of sacrifice somewhere along the line to do this. So um, you really have to develop some sort of routine around your life. So this is it. So you have life, which is L, um, which includes all your responsibilities, everything, and you have to have a portion. It may cut into the I in life, 
that you have trading. See? See? Just to give kind of a visual representation. You may have family down here. Family. You may have friends down here. Um, may have recreation here, but you are the person who has to divide up this circle of life to accommodate all aspects of your life, including chasing your dreams. All right. So time management is very important. We will now discuss journaling. Um, I have watched so many podcasts. I have well, actually, yeah, watched and listened to so many podcasts. Um, I have heard the same thing from the persons I consider mentors, the person I look up to, the persons I look up to. Um, but one one of the constants is journaling practice. Um, and I'm not referring to just persons in the trading space. I'm referring to persons overall. They say that their lives have improved because they have journaled. Now. I believe it is absolutely imperative for you guys to journal. Um, I know that journal journaling can be an overwhelming kind of thing, honestly speaking. First of all, you're overwhelmed with the amount of ways that you can journal. Um, you are overwhelmed with having to journal, actually journal every day. Um, you're probably overwhelmed with what things to say in the journal, what things to put in the journal, what things to do. I'm going to tell you guys what has worked for me. I have journals everywhere. I have tried every single thing that's out there. Um, Tradezilla. Um, uh, there's this guy, Blackwatch, who has a new training um, journal. I haven't tried that one as yet because I think I've settled on my on my trading journals. Um, all right. So you guys, you are going to need one journal for your trading. You're going to need one journal for like technicals yada 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 and you're also going to need a version of so something to talk about like your emotions all right so we have to journal more than one thing to really become a good trader it's not just about technicals but uh, it also becomes the best and most effective way to create the best version of ourselves, all right? Now, the best version of ourselves may come in different forms for different people, for different individuals. However, it is absolutely pertinent that we keep track of our habits, both good and bad habits, so we know where we stand. Also, there has to be a to-do list within your journal to kind of keep track of the things that you need to get done. Um, sometimes you may forget to do something if you're, if you're like me. But if you have it written down there, then you really have to, it, it keeps you accountable for the things that you have not done as, as yet and the things that you need to get done. Now with journaling, um, this is what I tell my team, straight up, no bullshit, no nothing. Um, for journaling in the morning, I have two journals. Number one, I have a written journal. In the written journal, I will write... Firstly, my emotional and physical state. This is the first thing that determines if I'm trading or not. So in the in the emotional portion of the journal, I will have how I'm feeling. Let's say I have an argument with my spouse. I know I'm not trading. Let's say I have a kid that is sick. I'm not trading. Let's say I have, and well, it, let's say I have like one of my kids are given like trouble in school or something like that some mishap or whatever i'm not trading if my mom dad family members are sick i'm trading but that that is the first thing that goes in my journal in the morning after i write my emotional state how i'm feeling if i if i have anything that is financially present at the moment um for like for instance you requested a withdrawal from a broker and this is an actual thing that has happened to be you requested an, a, a, a withdrawal from a broker and uh, you're waiting for the for the withdrawal because you have something to do like something is coming up like i think i think this happened to me once when i was there, there was a public holiday a federal holiday in america and a federal holiday and a public holiday in jamaica and i tried to withdraw some funds and it so happened that the the public holiday fell in the middle of the week 
And let's say I withdraw, like I tried to wire transfer the funds on the Tuesday, you know, that it takes two, um, three days to wire transfer. And then on the Friday, then it, it, it eventually the funds did not come until the following week. And I just could not trade on, I just could not trade because I was not mentally in the frame of mind to trade because that withdrawal was, I dep I was dependent on that withdrawal to actually carry out one of my functions as a man in life. Um, just an example of something that may stop you from trading. Um, so once the emotional portion of the journal is done, then it's time for the physical. Now, let's say I have pains, even though I'm always in pain because I am, uh, I go to the gym a lot. So I, I tend to be sore a whole lot. Um, one thing I believe is that when you are in the gym, once you stop feeling pain, it's time to level up. It's time to level up. So I write what I'm feeling physically. Let's say I have a cold. Let's say I have a flu. Let's say I'm weak. Um, as of late, I noticed that my hands, both left and right hands, are getting cramped. I think I actually need a, need a chair to sit in front of because since um I've had a little team on Discord, um I've been spending a whole lot more time in front of the computer with my hands elevated. Yada yada yada. Um, I also think. I did, I, I didn't trade one of the things I did, well, I didn't trade last week was um I could not understand my knees were just constantly paining. I can't go up steps and so forth. And it was this past week that I realized that the the I bought some new running shoes because I I tend to go get some cardio in the morning. I jog. You no, know, the, the roads are uneven and uh, I think the shoes, I think I, I think I definitely need to change the shoes. Um, I'm loving the Under Armour shoes, but I definitely need to change those walking, the running shoes that I have now. Um, it's been affecting my knee. I, I don't like trading when I have something on my mind, especially where my health is concerned or my emotional stability is concerned. I do not trade once I write that in the journal. Now, let's say I get up and I say, okay, um, last night was an amazing night, night with the wife, uh, with the missus. It's always amazing with the missus, but that's for another story. All right, so let's say I had an amazing night with my wife or we went out for drinks or something, mm, something relaxing, something different. Um, I'm, That's when in my journal, I'm trading. Let's say um, kids reports came, all grades were good. I am definitely trading. Let's say I don't have anything financially or any financial burdens or anything financial that, that is weighing on my mind. I'm trading. Um. Yeah. Once that section of the of the journal is good, I am trained. But this is the first thing that goes in my physical journal before I head to the charts. Anything like that? That's that 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 I journal those. The next thing is my to do list that goes just below. That goes just below the emotional and physical state. All right. For the to do list, I have two sides. One for trading, and I have one for life. All right, so an example of something that could, could come under life is parent-teachers meeting at Sun School. Or under trading, I could have watch watch one of Kish's, watch Kish's latest video that he posted this morning, or maybe backtest july I can, I can tell that my to-do journal for tomorrow is i'm going to be backtesting a theory i have something that i want to blend with that thing that they have called and i want to want to backtest it tomorrow i might do that call publicly as well um the, so it, under the to-do list if i have anything at this section that i know is that i know the timing is not dependent let's say i have a bank run to do i can do a bank run real quick just go Grab some cash, leave back home. If I have anything pressing to do here, I don't trade. Here does not affect whether or not I'm going to trade or not. It just keeps me accountable for the things that I need to do. All right. I used to have a list of 10 things that I do on it, and it used to go right there in that journal. And I used to go back at the end of the day just to make sure I did everything like meditation, exercise, um, something spiritual. But we'll get into all of that further on in the course. All right. Now, the next thing that would go under the journaling now is your actual trades. 
um, Kishiyan has given me the very simplest form of journaling my trades. I start trading at 8 in the morning, right? So let's say I start trading right here, 8 a.m., all right? I take a screenshot of everything that is here. I ask myself a few questions about the price action over here. Take a screenshot. Then I go about my trading day. Then I go about my trading day. Take my trades, whatever it may be. Once the day is done, I take another screenshot of this information at the end of the day, at the end of my trading day, which my trading day normally ends most times at 12 by 12 because um, I have a such a routine for life. All right, once I take that screenshot, then this is where the notes come. So I either put the notes there or I record something and I save that chart somewhere. The trading is done. I used to have something where I used to write like the time that I entered the trade, how long it took. Um, I used to note the economic calendar. N no, because my trading is so structured. I don't need to put all that there anymore. I actually know the exact time of day that I need to enter. I know the exact time of day that I won't be entering and so forth. Um, like I can look at the chart and say, okay, what's significant about this point in time of day? Then I know that's a fake, a fake breaking market structure. I'm not taking that. Um... Yes, yeah, so that's how I jerk both everything to do with my actual like mental state, physical state, life itself. And I also journal my charts like this. Um for you, you can go in and you can maybe take a screenshot of your day. This is what something I've done before, taking screenshots of my daily four hour age one all the way down. And I have just completely written on the charts all the day. Um I had I used to do one where I used to have like number one entered at 10 a.m. typed, then um maybe number two, um nervous. Most times I got nervous at maybe 10 or 3, shit. And I would just note it like that. And this is how I, I found the thing that I needed to work on. Right? All right. And with that said, I think we are at the end of the journaling section. But key takeaway is you need to journal not just your trades, how much are you made from it, or track your money but you also need to join on life itself, all right? All right, welcome back, Psychology 101 of the bootcamp. Um, I'm going to try to squeeze two sections that I have noted here, which is developing good habits, not just in trading, but overall. And I would also like to speak about shiny things, and I would also like to speak about draw down in this segment so first of all developing good habits all right so like i said earlier i have 10 things uh, slaughter that drawing all up all right so i have 10 things that i do every single day and these 10 things I believe are geared at ensuring that I am the best version of myself. I'm the best version of myself. No, before we get into the habits that would have made, or I think helps me to be the best version of myself, I wanna to speak to you guys about balance. It is going to be very, 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 very important that you balance slaughter that drawing as well. All right. So it's going to be very important that you balance out your actual life, balance everything. For me, I have a wife, I have kids, I have my mom, I have my dad. All right, first of all, my mom and my dad. Um, If your parents are anything like my parents, they would have taught you every single thing you need to know, except one thing and one thing only. And uh, that one thing for me is my parents have not taught me how to live without them. Um, day by day, my parents are getting old 
And the only remedy I have for them not teaching me how to live without them is to just try to see them as much as possible, spend as much time with them as possible. Um, though they can get miserable, though they do get on my nerves sometimes, I still want to see them and create memories, whether it be good or bad memories. That's the only thing I can do, create memories and preserve them right now. Um, I have a friend. He lives maybe about three hours from where his mom is. His mom lives in the neighborhood that I grew up. Um, that neighborhood is close to where I'm currently residing. And uh, you have any chocolate? Any chocolate ones? Inside. Yes. Yeah, so um, he he comes to visit her every. Sorry about that. He comes to visit her every month on a monthly basis. Um, I was having a conversation with him recently where I was saying to him, I don't think that is enough. He already lost his father. Um, I was basically saying to him that, hey, you need, if you, if your mom is 50 years old right now and you come to see her once per month, what that means is that you only see your mom 12 times before she turns 51. Um, I don't think 12 times for an entire year is merely enough to see, especially your parents, your mom. I really don't. Um, I don't know what the relationship is between most persons and their parents like i said the human mind is a very complex thing some persons don't have relationship with their mothers and fathers for whatever reason um but the one thing i can tell you guys is that life is very short covid has proven that life is a uh, very short um i don't even i don't even know if i'm allowed to say that on youtube but whatever man all right, so um, because life is so short, I really think, you know, people need to just like, just drop all the hate, drop the negativity and just try to see each other as much as possible. It doesn't have to be a long conversation. It doesn't have to be, you know, I love you, yada, 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 mushy stuff. Hey, mom, what's popping? You look at your mom, make sure that she's healthy, make sure she's fine, look around. It doesn't have to be a conversation, just that's it. Um, but we have to try to, and, and it's not not just for our mom or our parents. We really have to try to preserve relationships overall because relationships everywhere is fragile. Even um your male friend for the men or your female friends for the women, um life is very 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 short, and we have to try to preserve relationships with persons. That's number one. All right, so number two for the habits. Actually, before we get to the habits, before we get to the habits, um, I want you guys to be aware that life is all about balance. It can't be the same thing every single day. You have to be doing things to improve and nobody is going to come and say, hey, you need to do this, you need to do that. You have to do it for yourself and you have to want it for yourself, all right? So now for the habits. I do 10 things every single day, every single day. Number one, I exercise. exercise every day if it's even starting with five push-ups per day um you can do five push-ups five sit-ups five squats that's it do that for the first week next week you increase it 10 push-ups 10 squats 10 and, and you make it a point of duty to do this every single day for me my exercise is a little bit more rigid i have plans and i have a gym i have gym plans like plans that i execute inside the gyms mandatory um this day that 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 um cardio in the morning I need to actually need to write a plan for this coming month as well. I'm going to write that plan tonight, actually. All right. Number two, I do something spiritual. It doesn't matter the religion. It doesn't matter what you believe in. You just need to do something spiritual. When I say spiritual, I mean you need to sit and basically reflect. Reflect on, like, your ideals in life. For me, it's all about like humility, family, friends, um, hum more humility. Um, th th that spiritual awareness, I, I can tell you that it has helped me to control my emotions a whole lot, a whole, 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 whole lot. I do something spiritual every day. Um, meditate. 
um i had no idea meditating was just um like practicing breathing exercises yada 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 but apparently it works um it's not something i enjoy it's it's actually more annoying to me to meditate but um it is definitely a practice that i noticed that a lot of persons who are, are considered successful they do embark on number four i contact somebody like i said earlier life is short so i try to stay abreast of what's going on because really and truly guys we don't know what persons are going through unless we really speak to them you see what i mean and i can tell you that i've been doing this since 2020 where i call persons like every day i just call someone to catch up with them because like we, we tend to get so caught up with like going through life managing life that we sometimes forget that you know as, as people we need people it's one of one of the hierarchy of needs um to socialize with persons and i'm not talking about going on the internet and trolling and fucking around i'm talking about actual socialization so how i do it how i do it what i do this week i call someone i try to call someone every single day so this week i'll call someone who i i work with maybe um next week i'll call a family member the following week i'll call a friend the other week i'll just call any random business place just to say hey um hang in there you're good um i also use my whatsapp status to reach out to persons as well i'll just try to put something motivational or maybe share my devotional exercise in the morning something like that um so i contact someone every single day i tidy an ear every day most times i tidy the ear that i will be traded in so i'll spread the the the, the couch cover properly um i'll pack up kids toys i'll sweep the that pack, i sweep every day um and i'll clean my trading desk even though i just trade from a computer and my phone i'll clean wherever i'm gonna be with that shit it has to be clean it has to be clean so i tighten an error every single day um i read something every day i read a lot of articles and i also read books i try to learn something new every day Every single day, I try to learn something new and take note of it. I show gratitude every day in some way, shape, or form. Um, It can be something as simple as just saying to your wife that, hey, I'm grateful you're with me, going through life with me. Um, For the other things on the list... um, the, the I, I want to say before I continue that this doesn't have to be something perfect or something strict that you follow it 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 it, it can be it can be something as simple as it can be something as simple as where you just try to execute like even let's say okay i'm gonna get five of these off the, off the list today just do five just do three just do whatever you can do but make sure make sure that you're journaling them day by day journal it day by day until you start to hit all your goals all right so fasting is the other one on the list Yes, I try to fast every day, especially when I'm trading. I tend to stay hungry when I'm trading because I realize that my mind is more alert when I'm trading. Um, the tenth one, it I had eliminated something for number 10, and I don't even remember what it is right now. I'm just being real with you guys. I don't remember what the 10th thing is. But these are things that I try to do every single day. As a matter of fact, I will be doing this. I'm going to start journaling this every single day starting tomorrow and I will either post it to my Twitter or um, if persons are interested in actually joining me on this journey, which I think really you should, it does benefit you in some way. It helps to build you, it helps to build character, trust me. It um, helps to build discipline as well. And if you join me, what you can do is um, you could possibly just probably i don't know send me a dm something just to say okay i did this today this today just to kind of help each other to keep each other um to keep each other accountable yeah like i said this this is what being a professional kind of video or anything like that it's just gonna be 
me just giving my two cents. All right, so the final things we're going to speak about is drawdown. And we're going to speak about shiny things. All right, no, shiny things first. Guys, any strategy at all that you bring into the market works. It all works. It works. It works. It works. Your strategy just may need a process to really follow in order for the strategy to work as consistently as you'd like it. Please don't go out and try and discourse that course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just find something that resonates with you. Work on it. Find something that resonates with you. Work on it. Try to figure out all facets of that one thing. Try to find out what exactly it is that you need to refine in this one thing and just keep at it for a while. Do not switch. Do not follow the buzzwords on the internet. Just stick to one thing and that's it. Draw down. Draw down is something that everybody has to experience. Um, I, I wouldn't worry about it too much if I were you. I would just set goals, targets, and just focus on those targets until I start hitting them, hitting them, hitting them, hitting them. Uh, one thing I can tell you, one thing I can tell you without a doubt, without a, without a doubt, I can tell you that, hey, once the profitab profitability or but whatever it is, once that the air is striving for, once it is what once it starts to happen, it is going to be so fucking fast. You can't even begin to think. You're gonna look and say, damn, is this me? Like, is this really me? Am I able to do this? Easily. Easily. Um, the one thing I neglected to mention up here was that your health, guys, your health is a it is the most important thing. I I tell my wife every single day that, and she and she agrees with me every single day. She says, "Hey, if we go homeless tomorrow, the only thing I'm hoping that when we're hopeless, that we have good health and we are homeless together. Together, family is important. Health is important. Time management is important. Those are the three most important things that I think you need to focus on. Once you get those parts, then discipline and everything else comes into place. And I hope you enjoyed the psychology bit of this, of the bootcamp, though it may have been rushed or I might have left out some important things. But I do thank you for listening.